Hello, my name is Alan Clark. I would like to speak for just a couple minutes on the exciting opportunity that we have to leverage the open mainframe in today's world of hybrid IT. Now, I know the year 2000 may feel like a long time ago. It's interesting to look back. There were major new technology advances that were imminent. We had the introduction of the commercial camera phone, the availability of Bluetooth, and even USB flash drives. Looking back, we can see that the year 2000 was the start of widespread technical innovation. The concept of open source was growing with Linux as the main test or focal point. Linux was making huge inroads into commercial data centers. Linux began taking on increasingly critical roles in the formation of business and business transactions. It was literally leaping into the heart of business. It is at this time that commercial Linux was introduced to the mainframe by SUSE. Working with IBM, SUSE released the first enterprise-grade Linux in the fall of 2000. Since that time, SUSE and IBM have continued to see Linux grow, succeed, and be accepted within the business world. Today, more businesses choose SUSE Linux Enterprise Server for IBM Z and Linux One than any other Linux running workloads on IBM mainframes. The reasons are engineering excellence and long-term business expertise, and that's accelerating innovation. The growth and success that continues today is what I find very intriguing. You would think that anything of 20 years or more within our computer technology industry would be an outmoded antique. We've certainly gone through many commoditization cycles within this industry where much technology has been pushed to the history books. Yet Linux on the mainframe has not. In fact, just the opposite. So stating that much has changed since 2000 is almost an understatement. We live in constant change. In fact, change is not just constant, it's rapid and it's accelerating. Change has become the new norm. With worldwide events such as COVID, businesses and their leaders not only have to change to deal with change, they also have to deal with external shocks, increased and ever varied competition, regulations, and rapidly shifting customer expectations. Driven by the need to respond to dynamic markets, businesses are accelerating their adoption of technologies and processes that enable them to deliver new services, applications, and capabilities to their customers on a continuous basis. This is a key element of digital transformation. These capabilities are typically fueled by adoption of cloud-native computing concepts and CICD processes for application delivery. An issue arising from this continuous delivery is how does the infrastructure keep pace? As applications are dependent on infrastructure and services, how are the resources for these applications allocated and assigned? Can you afford to not leverage all of your infrastructure assets? The reality is that this fast pace raises the need to bring together all operations into a well-orchestrated hybrid IT operations model. A model that enables you to leverage and build upon the key strengths of your infrastructure. And this includes the unique values from your IBM Z and Linux One systems. So why include the mainframe? Blending IBM Z and Linux One as a key player in the hybrid IT brings distinct data protection, security, and compliance. Here's a couple of reasons why. First, pervasive encryption, both encrypting data in flight and at rest. So this, of course, includes the kernel constructs and the user space tools. Second, secure execution for Linux. This provides a trusted execution environment designed to protect and isolate critical workloads better than a standard software environment. And these are protections from both internal and external threats. A secure execution 
environment lets you scale up to thousands of workloads in full isolation, protected again from internal and external threats. Enables you to address the security issues present in other Linux servers that are running multiple containers in the same virtual machine. It protects the contents of containers in heterogeneous workloads without extensive software code changes. It ensures the confidentiality and integrity for sensitive data and workloads, and it allows Kubernetes containers administrators to manage workloads on both Z and x86, but not have access to the data in the secure containers. A secure execution environment was designed for critical data and workloads, workloads such as sensitive databases, crypto services, and blockchain services. Those are very modern, upcoming business strategic services. They are perfect for the mainframe. And number three, continuous uptime. With the addition of SUSE Live Patching for IBM Z, you can maintain system compliancy and currency without having to take any systems down. So it makes sense business sense, of course, to modernize and scale infrastructure efficiently using the best infrastructure, the best systems for each use case. This is where the cost of running applications are optimized and scalability and resilience can be built in. Now, I mentioned containers a minute ago. Containers are one of those pivotal technologies enabling the shift towards cloud native. Containers provide one of the most flexible, and scalable options for our customers. But as you scale, particularly across architectures, how do you consistently orchestrate such an environment? Kubernetes management enables the mainframe to be part of this transformation. Without a management platform, businesses lack central visibility, inconsistency, inconsistent security practices, and a very complex management paradigm. IBM Z systems are prevalent in the banking and financial systems industry, and they're core to their mission-critical infrastructure. These organizations view containers as the technology that will make IBM Z an important part of their hybrid cloud deployment strategy. By opening up the mainframe, we allow businesses to leverage and monetize the wealth of data that they harbor in a unique and new way with modern containerized applications. While we have had some open mainframe projects here at SUSE, leveraging interns through the open mainframe project, and some of those projects have involved Kubernetes on Z, SUSE now has a strategy to deliver Rancher Kubernetes management on IBM Z. Bringing Rancher One and Kubernetes value to IBM Z and Linux One is a major leap to a transformative platform that includes SUSE Linux Enterprise Server on IBM Z, Rancher Kubernetes Engine, and Rancher Multi-Cluster Management. Now, I know Mike Frazenacker spoke in depth about this at his session yesterday in the summit. I invite you to go check out that session and see more about how and what we're doing there. Now, finally, just very quickly, I'd like to call out the Feilong Project. Feilong's mission is to accelerate ZVM adoption by developing the RESTful API server that simplifies interaction with the IBM Z, ZVM hypervisor. So why am I bringing this up here? The RESTful API server makes using ZVM easier, especially for developers that may not have a deep knowledge about ZVM. It allows you to develop self-service infrastructure automation for VMs, networking, and storage used by ZVM. The reason I bring this up is this further demonstrates the ability to blend the mainframe in your hybrid IT model. So what we found is to succeed is to adapt. The best companies and organizations understand that. Embracing transformation, leveraging infrastructure, including the mainframe, accelerates business innovation. They understand that a flexible IT infrastructure that is ready to support digital transformation rapidly and securely 
is the key to succeeding in this world of constant change. This ends my time. Thank you for listening, and thank you for joining this meeting.